Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Alienware X51 desktop gaming system. People have been proclaiming the death of PC gaming for years now, especially with the popularity of gaming consoles. So it only seems fitting that the rise of a new kind of gaming rig would come not from the grave, but from the stars. Alienware decided to launch its own War of the World style invasion of console territory with the X51. A system that's right at home in your home theater setup right next to your Xbox 360 and PS3. Here's what we learned from performing our own Alienware autopsy. The X51 that we reviewed was powered by an Intel Core i7-2600 processor running at 3.4GHz with 8GB of DDR3 RAM. This was supplemented by an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 555 video card with 1GB of graphical memory, and it came with 1TB of hard drive space spinning at 7200 RPM. The system came with a slot-loaded DVD burner and had integrated 7.1 surround sound. It also came with a ton of USB ports. It packs two USB 2.0 ports on the front, along with the microphone and headphone jacks, as well as four USB 2.0 ports on the rear of the system, and two USB 3.0 super speed ports as well. Rounding out the specs are an HDMI and Sony Philips digital interface port, and full Wi-Fi support. The first thing that stood out about the system was just how small and sleek the machine was. Simply put, if you're a fan of the Xbox 360's redesigned look, then you're really going to dig the X51. The system is similarly shaped to the console with its curves and design accents, like the LED lighting and elements that make it feel more akin to a console than a PC. The LED lighting is also customizable thanks to the Alienware Command Center software, so you can choose the colors emanating from the system or turn them off entirely. However, apart from customizing the lights, Alienware clearly paid a lot of attention to the modular design of the system. Getting inside the machine is as simple as removing one screw and sliding a side panel off towards the front of the machine. From there, you'll find that everything has been placed tightly and cleanly within the case, but it's easy to access all of the main components of the computer, including the video card, with the help of a screwdriver. We'd hate to have to cram all of this into such a small system, but we love the fact that Alienware's designers made it incredibly easy to put everything back together and ensure that the system works. Now, traditionally, a rig with this small a form factor isn't the best when it comes to gaming, but the X51 proved otherwise. Thanks to the video card and the CPU, the system flew through most benchmarks we put it through. Even the large cache and the high RPM rate for the mechanical hard drive eliminated any possible bottleneck that could be found with the computer's performance. As a result, we were able to get very solid frame rates in many high-end games. For instance, we were able to play Far Cry 2 with ultra-high settings, 8x anti-aliasing, and a 2560x1600 resolution with rock-solid frame rates. Newer games streamed the system to play at the same resolution with all the settings turned all the way up to 11, but we didn't have any problems playing in full HD, meaning you could easily hook this up to a large screen HD television. What's more, we found that the X51 is amazingly quiet during use. Whether it was idling through web browsing or getting slammed with processor intensive tasks, we didn't detect a ton of noise. That made it incredibly easy to focus on what we were engaged in instead of listening to the fans. That's another huge bonus for the system that's trying to compete with quieter consoles and living rooms. But perhaps one of the biggest selling points for the X51 is its affordability. Most boutique systems, Alienware in particular, typically come out with a higher premium than the usual machine. The X51 is one of the most affordable systems out there in this boutique class, with the most basic machine weighing in at $699 for a Core i3-2120, 4 gigs of RAM, and a GeForce GT 545 graphics card. While the system we reviewed was the most expensive one in its product line without any upgrades, it still came in at $1,149, which is incredibly cheap for a system like this. So were there any things we didn't like about the X51? Well, we didn't like that Alienware decided the Blu-ray drive was optional for this system. This is the kind of computer that deserves to have a Blu-ray drive as a standard option on the machine, especially if it's trying to compete with consoles as a possible entertainment center in a living room. Users shouldn't have to kick in an additional hundred bucks just for the upgrade alone. The other issue is that there's a limited number of graphics cards you'll be able to install and run in this machine. You won't be able to get a GeForce GTX 680 in the system, for example, because it takes more power than the 330 watts installed in the X51 as a power supply. It's possible that entry-level or mid-range cards in the future that have lower power requirements could work. But for now, getting the best card available when you order is your best option to future-proof your system from being graphically held back over time. 
the Alienware X51 really managed to get everything right about a small form factor PC. The system is about the size of a gaming console, but as a full-fledged computer, it has more than enough power to handle the AAA titles out there. Plus, it's easy to service and upgrade, and it looks great in a home theater setup. While we did have a few qualms about the system, overall, it leaves a small footprint on your desk and a small dent in your wallet for a booty computer. As a result, we decided to give the Alienware X51 a 4.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Alienware X51 desktop gaming system, make sure you check out techbargains.com slash Dell. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, make sure you check out techbargains.com slash videos.